Here are the signs that your twin flame is thinking about you. My name's Lisi. I'm a master certified Ascension coach. You can find me at twinflamesheartsdesire.com where I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, and channeled readings. So let's get started. What are the signs that your twin flame is thinking about you? The first place to look is in your reality, in your external world. So if you're not in contact with your twin flame or you have low contact with them, um, and even if you're in touch with your twin flame, but you're, you're like, are they thinking about me? Because I sure am thinking about them. Then the first place to look is in your external world. You might see signs and synchronicities. You might hear a song on the radio that has a particular lyric to it or message to it. Um, you might see an animal that repeats itself in your reality, like the, the word flamingo will pop up or peacock will pop up or um, like a fox, right? You'll see a picture, you'll see the word fox. It will come up in your reality repeatedly if it has a special spiritual significance. You might see flat feathers, angel numbers, repeating numbers on license plates, receipts, etc. The clock, 1111, right? These things might be coming up in your reality a lot. And this is a sign that your twin flame is thinking about you. But what do I mean? Do I mean that your twin flame, the person that, that their brain is thinking about you? Well, your actual twin flame person may be playing video games and thinking about, you know, beating the mega boss or something. What I mean is that your twin flame's higher self, your divine self, your higher power, which is one with your twin flame, like God, right? That that is that essence is, is thinking of you, is connecting with you in that moment, right? Another way to tell that your twin flame is thinking about you is um, if you have a warm feeling in your heart, if you feel peace and love towards them, or in general, if you're feeling at peace and you're feeling oneness with all of reality with your divine life, then it's likely that your twin flame is feeling the same way too, right? You and your twin flame share one soul blueprint. You are two different souls, two different entities, but you share the same core essence. And this is a way to explain why twin flames seem to make the same core choices at the same time, kind of like mirror electrons. Um, if you look at like the um, f uh, metaphysics or physics experiments where uh, if you separate electrons over a large distance and they're spinning in one direction and you change the spin of this one and this one spin changes at the same time even though they're miles apart, right? Um, this experiment, you can look that up. This is the same with twin flames because you're sharing the same soul blueprint. And when you're angry at their twin flame, when you're resentful towards them, when you're pointing your finger at them and blaming them for your experience or blaming them, they did this to me, they did that, they're, they're seeing someone else or they ignored me or they, they didn't stand up for me, they're disloyal to me. You can hold on to resentment and I promise you, your twin flame's feeling the same thing all the time. That's not gonna attract them to you. That's not gonna resolve the issue that you're experiencing, right? Like if, if you were my friend and I was mad at you and crossing my arms at you, would you want to approach me? No, <laughs> right? I wouldn't, I mean, unless you're different, but that's okay. Um, it's the same energy, right? Like attracts like. So when you're feeling good about your twin flame, likely they're feeling good about you, right? And there may be some superficial blocks to work through, but at the core, you're choosing as one. When you choose to be with your twin flame, when you decide to be with your twin flame, they're making that same decision at the same time, right? I want to talk about this one thing that may be tripping some of you up. There's something called the subconscious mind, and this came around the uh, psychology exploration. I think the Freudian, um, there, or maybe... You'd have to look that up, but there's, there's, everybody has heard of the term subconscious, right? It means under your consciousness, something you can't see, something that is driving you, right? It's like your, um, some people call it like, uh, the, 
the shadow or the hidden mind or or your your overarching consciousness it's it's the place the parts and the beliefs that you're not aware of that you're like oh i i don't think that about myself i think i'm a great person right but your subconscious mind is holding limiting thoughts and beliefs that maybe you picked up in childhood or your youth that is actually driving your actions right your subconscious and conscious mind together your awareness and your subconscious mind together are what drive your actions forward but it's your subconscious beliefs and thoughts that uh, sometimes people see what their twin flame is doing and they're like that's not me but it's because they're pointing at a subconscious part of, of your belief system and when you bring those conscious parts to light and I, I practice something called the mirror exercise it's four steps when you bring that to light you're going to be able to purify your entire consciousness and restore those shadows back into light, back into harmony, back into love. That is what attracts your twin flame. So your twin flame comes, they don't come into your life like an, a separate entity, they're revealed to you. Just like if you dust off a mirror and you see a clear image there, that's the same thing that happens when you're doing the mirror exercise to purify your consciousness and your heart. I say heart, I point at my chest right here because that's a symbolic place for me, right? We, there's not an actual physical place. Like, you know, you could put your heart on your pinky, but I point here. Um, you don't have to do that, but we're, we're, we don't need to get hung up on semantics here. We're just talking about the underlying essence or truth of reality regarding twin flames. So is your twin flame thinking about you? Well, if you're thinking about them and you're feeling peaceful and loving towards them, they, they very well could be. Um, I have had so many synchronicities since I started doing uh, practicing the teachings of union with my twin flame where um, we'll both like message each other at the same time and it happens more and more and more frequently as I do this work, as I purify my consciousness. Those synchronicities will come more frequently and they don't stop either. There's not an end to the healing that you can do. So um, one thing that you do want to know is like, if, you, if you're thinking about them and you're like feeling like they're not with you, feeling like you are experiencing lack, like they're not with me, I wish they were here, feeling the missing feeling, you're feeling like you're missing your counterpart, that's an illusion. They're already with you. They're already one with you in essence. And if you're feeling the sad, missing feeling, they're probably not missing you. Why? That's because, like I said, you and your twin flame are created as one. You're already one in essence. We're talking spirituality here. There's a connection between the physical world and the spiritual world in that there's no separation there. But when you're thinking about your twin flame in a sad way, this sadness energy, this lack energy, this energy where you don't feel the love you desire, that energy has a non-magnetism to it. I was going to say repulsion, but a lot of people don't like that word, right? This is a repulsion energy. Like think about magnets. Um, and usually when you're feeling like you miss something, you're participating in the illusion of separation and therefore your twin flame is going to reflect that illusion of separation to you. How do you fix this? Well, it's through the teachings of union that what I described, the mirror exercise, you'll need to practice it on your own, but that's something that I can help you with. Twin flame ascension school can also help you with that. I am here to help you with that. So if you want to try an introductory session with me, click the link under the description in this video and book an intro session with me. Try one of my twin flame groups and take your next step. So I hope I gave you a lot of information here. Please feel free to ask a question in uh, the, sub the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more juicy Twin Flame content. See you next time. Bye-bye.